Hey, here's Joe again and welcome back to Dark Souls 3 where we are in Arch Dragon's Peak ready to pull that lever. Who are you? Leo B100, okay. And Alex. Uh, do we get story summons? I don't see any. Maybe at the bonfire room? This is where I put, would put them. Nope, that's just a lighting glitch again. Okay. Not really interested. Okay. Uh, dark, but dark, I have no idea what this... Here the wheel is turning. Which makes the gears turn next to the bell. Uh, note the gears don't turn because they forgot to animate it. So the bell ringing, what we heard, is either another player ringing, ringing this bell for the first time or something different that happens. Namely, a player killing a certain entity that will show up on screen in a second. Apparently not in a second, because this needs to be drawn out dramatically. Also, the controller rumble, I even turned it down to very low settings, but it's still way too much. Oh, it's raining now. It's a storm. That's it? We don't get to see it in the cutscene? Who are you? You're still Alex. I don't need help here. Using, you're using the XI Greatsword. What are you? One, two, three. Using... Irithyll Shortsword? Maybe that's telling me something. Use Dex weapons? <laughs> Whatever. Let's go. Down here. Onto the cloud layer. This isn't at all weird. Walking on the clouds. Okay. Let's go over to the fog wall. There he comes in. That's the entity. Weird. I was certain it would show up in an in a cutscene. Too short. Six thirty with the dark. Five fifty six with the other one, so dark. I wrote that. You're losing li using lightning, king of the storm. I mean, you should expect that from a King of the Storm. Did I just repost you? Oh, God. Didn't see that coming. Where's he? Wow. Couldn't do anything against that because camera freaked out. Wow. That was going great. Wow, how did I get hit by that? The fact that... Uh... Wow, he roll caught me. And one shot me with that. We might want to have a thunder stone plate ring. With this fight. So let's look at that. Uh, instead of what, though? Lorenthy, we don't really need that. Let's use some thunders. Don't play it. Okay. So now it's looking all different around here. With like the weird dark clouds. Let's go in again, King of the Storm. We get our souls outside of the boss gate. That's nice. 
reinforcing that this is an optional boss, as we know, since we can fight the final boss already. I think that's what hit me the last time and killed me. Ah, uh, hit him yet? Uh, no, this what what hit me. It's deceptive. Oh god. Uh, yeah, that also hit me the last time. Um, I rolled, friend. Oh, he has a combo also. The rider. I rolled that very definitely. Wow. How can I miss the thing that's just in my face? Okay, that's using a lot of my Estes because I'm not accustomed to this yet. That did just do a glance hit. <laughs> wow. Roll. I have to roll like five times sometimes. Got the thing. Got the thing. Okay. Rider comes up. Okay. This pure beast. It's no longer needed. And it doesn't need to die suffering. So he ends it. Um, yeah, I would want to use my Ashen Estes, please. Hey, I also used the normal one at the end of the that fight. Shockwaves, huh? I saw that coming. I tried to freaking roll everything. God, I rolled backwards. In a, I know that he does shockwaves, and I rolled backwards like an idiot. The Nameless King. He's caught, and he is the one whose statues we saw all around here, and whose statues were always missing in uh, Dark Souls 1 and when we came to Anor Londo in this game. Because he's the brother of Gwynoir and Gwyndolin, Lord Gwyn's oldest son, the firstborn. Okay, when I hit his head from behind, it doesn't count as a headshot. Uh, you're standing behind a statue. Freaking hell, I wrote that four times in a row, but whatever. I run away from him, he doesn't combo. Well, I mean, at least I hit his whatever. Stop that. B! 
I was doing my stun after the Estes. How far does this go? Okay. That works for me. That did almost miss the head. And that's what I... Wow! Got that coming this time. Wow! Hit hit! Uh, I didn't hit it? But it did hit me. Yeah, of course it did hit me. Ah. I hate the range of that spell. Can you go for this guy, please? Oh, I just hit the freaking thing! I'll miss it when, he, when I do this. No, I won't. Okay, don't need to see this cutscene again. I wanted to check fire. I wrote. Okay, dark is still better. What the fuck? Okay, let's go near him. One, two. Weird attack. That's too fast. Roll it. One. To, uh, I rolled that. Um, I couldn't roll because of Estes stun. And I was stunned because of stun stun. Okay. Uh, his freaking thunder attack. Uh, all of his attacks, they stun me for long enough that he can hit me a second time. Which just kills me. So uh, we don't need thunder's plate. What we need is slightly more damage. Let's do Dark Clutch Ring. And go in again. Let's see if we if he one-shots me now on the first phase. I hope not. Ah, uh, he always just does this weird entry where he jumps over me. So I basically just have to stand still when he does that. Nope, I don't, because this time he tried to take me. Wow, that hit perfectly. Not. This time he landed on the statue. Oh god. Hit the freaking head! Like that, 700 damage, okay. That's like an almost 20% damage increase. And I can survive this, that's good. But only if I'm full health. Stop that! Okay, so his range with that attack is just all the way to over me, however far away I'm, I am from him in the arena. Stop that. Let me... Okay, that's a down dragon breath attack. Okay. Uh, I managed to roll it. was never hit by that yet. Hit head. Ah! B! I'm mashing the freaking button because I want to roll. Not because of some stupid thing that you might think I'm doing. I want to roll.
Here every now changes control to B being the stand around do nothing button instead of the roll button. Wow. Okay, it doesn't help me with the King of the Storm to have the dark damage increased. It takes the same amount of hits. Let me walk on to you. You can strafe as much as you want. That's a two-hit combo. And that's a grab attack that one-shots me. No, it doesn't. That's surprising. I get time enough to heal after that. I assume that's depending on the combo that he does after. How did that miss? I missed him, but he hit me. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm rolling. He is just like side moving like half a millimeter and dodges my attack like that. I'm rolling and not dodging his attack. Uh, that's how unfair this fight is, apparently. Uh, let me go through my inventory for a while to see whether we can get anything more out of this fight. Um... <laughs> We we'll just exchanged the Chlorinthy ring with not the Chlorinthy the that one I exchanged already with the Dark Clutch ring. Uh, the Silver Serpent ring with the other Pyromancy boost ring. Because I'm not quite certain we need that. Extra soul. Ah. I wrote that, my friend. Um, attacks, hit, please. Can I hit an attack, please? Yeah, like that. Like he tries to do. I'd like to hit an attack. He isn't even evading. That just has infinite range and it's stupid. I shouldn't have locked off. That would have given me the time to... ...properly hit him. Just freaking hit that! Oh, God damn it! The range is so deceptive in this arena because... Um, I wrote that. I also pressed Estes. I wrote the wrong direction. With that first attack, I can. I know that he can string this attack. That's why I'm saying first attack. With that first attack, he closes all the distance between us. Wow, thank you. Yeah! Okay, your range on that is ridiculous. Yeah, stunning it. Wow. Do damage! What the fuck? These things right disappeared right when hitting his head, not like before hitting his head. They should have hit him. Again! The range is so de freaking deceptive on this fight. I need to be moving more closer to him, but I'm afraid. I wrote that, friend, but whatever. Take it to head. Okay, that here got off. Yeah. I wrote that. I pretty much wrote that because I was rolling when it hit me. Bullshit! What's the B button for? So, can you explain me how that is fair that I can't react between these two attacks with that huge wind up of his and I can't react in between? That's not how... Ugh.
by the way, this guy is the... Uh, I didn't mention that. This guy is uh, supposed to be the most difficult boss fight of the game. Uh, of the base game. So, uh, bear with me a bit if I scream a bit and have trouble a bit, but... I'm just getting shredded by him every time I go into his uh, his face and I already lost all the esters before that because the freaking storm beast it just can avoid my attacks like crazy and back in again I roared that, my friend, but whatever you get, ball to face. I roared that. This is not too far away because I roared in your direction. Ha! Ah, your head is so deceptive. I wrote that and I got double hit by the same attack. I wrote the attack and got double hit by it. I mean I just need to hit like five of those freaking black fire orbs and the first and the first fi uh, first phase is done with. Okay. Wow. Then from here, that suits you better. I really like to be able to see you and the losing the lock on feature in this game. I call it a feature because it must be uh, on purpose. Face. Face. Okay. Riders also okay. Face. Change <laughs> side again. Range. Oh god. Ridiculous. Wrong, Estes. Push it! Push it! I wrote that! I wrote that and I was full health! Before that attack. Okay, that just fucking shreds me. We have too many spells on our bar. Let's get rid of a few that I won't ever use. Uh, like the, those two. Instead put one in. That I might use. I'll try that against the second phase if, if I ever get to that again because after reaching it twice I couldn't ever get to it again. I want to, to fight that second phase. I'm not interested in the first phase. First phase is easy. But it's not. Not when I'm thinking like that. I'm not respecting it because I know that I like five shot it. Oh, Rider takes mo even more damage than Beast. Wow. Yeah, thank you. Whoa! That's a new attack. Yeah, learn new attack. Learn new attack in the 10th attempt. Face. Ah. That didn't even hit the wing. Face! Face! I wrote that, but whatever. Face. One more check to the face, please. It locked off from weird movement. Ah. Okay. 
Okay. Let's try the better ranged fire spell. Pop off. That one. That's okay damage, okay-ish. Let's try to go for, uh, go in a bit. That works fine. Heal in his face. B. There was the roll. I put in the roll before his attack hit me. Oh, I don't have range any. A. B. There's the roll. Fucking stored rolls. I'm both of those times in this in the second phase. I did put in the roll. Before his attack started, basically, or when his wind up to the attack started. And both times I got hit and then rolled three seconds later. Game is actively fighting me here. I need a bit of a break because my hands are getting sweaty and all crumbly and hurting. Uh, I'm seeing you in a second. And back in again. I like that behavior. I like your side change. That's a nice attack. Because it's not an attack. I hit him on accident. The delay. Wow, stagger lasted long. You're doing the weird stuff, yeah. Do it end with a charge. We we'll go down over there. The cameras, the the cameras. Okay, one more hit. Wow. I evaded that on accident because I didn't know what he was doing. through the thing, not parallel to it. B. Meshing. Try to stay at a safe distance from him. Maybe you can lure him into doing this forever. No. You can stay over there. Halfway. Does he do face change? No. Apparently, at least not at half health. What does he do? Oh god. 
good that I could survive that. You take that to face. Die. Ha. No cutting needed. 30 minute episode. The Nameless King. Easier. Then... What did I have so many problems with? Uh, the Twin Princess. Confirmed. Nameless King, easy. Okay. Lothric and Lorien are the hardest boss fight here. Good. At least for a Pyromancer. Always bear that in mind. I am a Pyromancer, so... Lothric and Lorien, I think, had Dark and Fire resist. Okay. So, the base game has one more boss left for us, which is the final boss, which will be in the next episode. But for now, let's explore here, below the Nameless King's boss fight arena. I can, yeah, of course, I'll cut every now and then, but I don't need to cut out any boss attempts. That's what I'm mainly wanting to say with that. Uh, we've been down here, at this one, at this gate, we've been here. There was like mm, something over there. So when you... Oh, up there is our bonfire and up there is the bell that we've rung. Okay, so... This is the Nameless King bonfire. Get, yeah, okay. Let's read about the Nameless King. Who is he? Uh, I already said it this episode, but whatever. The Nameless King was once a dragon-slaying god of war before he sacrificed everything to ally himself with the ancient dragons. He saw the stupidity in what... Uh, his father Gwyn was doing, I suppose. Okay, let's go back to our standard loadout. Uh, I suppose that will suffice against the last boss of the game because he isn't as hard as this guy. Maybe he is for me. Maybe Pyromancy is the thing where he is good against. He might be. Titanite Slab? How many Titanite Slabs did I get? Like, we have four now? I used two, so we are at six titanite slabs. I will look up how many you can get in the base game. But I think six is not the appropriate number. Let's look around here. We've been on this outcrop. There was like an item in the corner over there. Nothing here. Yeah, I'm going slowly, I know, but I want to look for items. I don't know where items are normally. Not in advance. Beware of pointless. Nothing down here. This is where we picked up Ornstein's uh, spear. This side, though. Also nothing. Nothing? Only the slab? I mean, the slab is a nice item, don't get me wrong there. Oh, there could be an item down there that I totally missed. Because I was only going uh, the upper way. Dragon Slayer said we get Elmstein's armor. That's not the Dragon Slayer armor. Uh, mind it, that's Ornstein's armor. This will be more sleek than the... I mean, not really more sleek than the Dragon Slayer armor. The boss fight, I mean. Uh, let's put that on to see how it looks. Dragon Slayer will be down there. No, boss armors aren't at the bottom. Great. They will just be impossible to find. I did get a head with that too. Where is it? Blahind. There. Ah. There. 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 Seventy-five point six percent. But yeah, that's the Dragon Slayer armor. Uh, we have nothing that we could de, de equip so we'll be fed rolling in that. But this looks great. Like fire lobbing Ornstein. Great. 
I'm going back to my fallen knight set with the crown. He freaking one-shot me with that lightning attack because I'm wearing the crown which increases lightning damage. Shame. Obviously. Okay, I'm seeing you at Ludleth. And of course, lightning storm. Furious bolts of lightning. I think that was the thing that he used in his last phase where he slammed a spear into the ground and then something hit me where I was standing. Uh, once a slayer of dragons, the former King War got named, uh, tamed a storm drake on which he led a lifetime of battle. This miracle is likely a tale of their bond. Then we have the storm curved sword that we never saw, which doesn't make sense that he has it, but whatever. Uh, imbued with the strength of the storm drake. Oh, so this is this a, a thing of the uh, um, fashion from the talon, I suppose. Does it say stand here somewhere, or from a from a fang of his? The name is King Ally of the ancient dragons, fought beside the storm drake in countless battles. When the great beast fell, the king came to soul as was the custom in the age of the gods, and that's why Ornstein and Smo do it the same way. And then we have his sword spear. A dragon hunting weapon from the Age of the Gods, the earliest form of the cross spear serving as both a, a sword and spear. Its owner was the nameless king and deific hunter of dragons. The sword spear is imbued with lightning, of which he was the heir. Yeah, it scales with faith. And it's a, it's a dex weapon, apparently. At least, partly. Oh, it's sword spear high in the air to summon fierce lightning that descends upon distant foes. Falling bolt. That might also be the thing. Hmm. Then maybe the lightning storm is something different. Didn't we see him do an attack where he covered some area with lightning? I'm not sure. I took the mantle. I of don't Lord need of any of those. Of my own volition. I speak these words with pride. Choose thy fate alone. Seize it with thine own hands. All the more should thy fate entail such foul betrayal. Yet a new uh, goodbye line because we uh, did the new uh, did unlock the new ending with the firekeeper. Okay, let's level up. The soul of the nameless king says for only 16k, but we'll sell it regardless. And we are leveling up intelligence and faith by one level each. Okay next episode it will be time to finally rest the sinness of the lords upon their thrones so that they may fulfill their purpose and we'll be then going for the ending of the game as i am pretty certain that i can play the dlcs afterwards so we'll be going to the end of the game watch the credits and then we'll be doing the dlcs so have a nice day. See you tomorrow.